fuelless electrical generator. Here is a method to build your own emergency electrical generator which requires no fuel other than human energy. This generator cost me nothing because the parts were already in my collection of junk. If you are buying parts, the most expensive will be the auto alternator. I have acquired several of these free off of abandoned cars. You will also need a 12 volt car battery to charge the rotor coil, which makes the alternator work. The green wire on the upper left of the alternator goes to the battery negative connection. The red wire going to the bottom of the alternator goes to the battery. A small orange wire going into the alternator is used to activate power. You may also add a switch to this wire as I did. It goes to battery positive. The small black wire going into the bottom of the alternator is the light ground. You do not have to use a light. The light tells you when voltage reaches a certain level. This is a child's bike, 16 inch wheels with 7 speeds. An adult bike would be better because of larger wheels and more gear selections. This configuration provides 17 and 2 thirds revolutions of the alternator to 1 revolution of the pedals. That comes to 1 revolution per second of the pedals, providing 1060 revolutions per minute of the alternator. At this speed, the alternator just begins to pass 12 volts, which means the battery will charge. Amp's output is about 4, with no measurable amp draw to power the light and alternator rotor. Four amp output equates to about 48 watts. This is stored in the battery. The batteries stored energy can be used directly or converted to household 120 volt AC using an inverter. This view shows how the alternator is mounted. The drive belt is actually the original tire, which was carefully trimmed to remove the sidewall. Here the switch is mounted for turning on power to the light and alternator rotor. On the right, a closed dryer belt tensioner is used to keep the belt aligned the small white wheel. Many different watt output inverters are available. This one is big, about 750 watts and costs about $80. Inverters also consume some energy while processing the electricity. This side of the alternator mount has an adjustable bracket. This is important as your belt length will vary. The front forks were narrowed to a single tube for leg clearance. The square base frame adds stability. This assembly was welded. It could also be bolted, but it needs to be strong. It is also portable. Looking at how long the belt is, it's hard to believe that it used to be the tire. Here is recycling at its best. No pun intended. The alternator pulley was for a ribbed belt. The ribs were ground down, making a smooth surface for the tire belt. Using a multi-speed adult bike with a larger wheel, one should be able to increase the RPMs, thus giving more volts and amps.